All right, folks, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. It's a beautiful day here in uh, our wonderful town of Mount Pleasant. But I want to tell you something. It's, it, it, to quote a uh, favorite song, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around CCMP in Mount Pleasant. In your town, probably, at, at the mall, and wherever you go, I believe it's probably beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And so, we like that. I do. I told our church Sunday, Sunday was December 3rd, and I said, All right, all of you Scrooges out there that have been uh, holding back the Christmas, hey, it's December, bring it on. It, it's okay now. Play your songs and put the lights up and, and decorate. And uh, yesterday I was out in my yard and I put up our nativity. Uh, we we uh, we don't do a lot, but what I wanted to do, I wanted to do Jesus. I want to put Jesus out there so they can see. They probably, if you see uh, Jesus in the yard, you know that's that's a pretty good sign. So uh, it's it's Christmas time, and it's like that here at the Community Church in Mount Pleasant. We we started that season Sunday at our church. Our worship team did a little package, a, a little teaser of Christmas music and. Uh, Pastor Jason talked about uh, getting your heart ready for Christmas. I mean, positioning yourself rather than just, okay, it's Christmas, we'll run through it, buy the presents, do all the stuff, and nothing ever changes. Nothing happens in your heart. Let's, let's not let that be this Christmas. Let's get our hearts ready to, to uh, acknowledge what Christmas really is. And, and we do all the presents, we do all that stuff, but but we need to not forget about the baby and, and what that represents. And that is the gospel. The, the good news is the gospel. The good news is the baby's here. Uh, and, and that's what we remember about Christmas. And we need to tell people, hey, guess what Christmas is about? The baby's here. And, and he is uh, the savior of the world. We now have a way to be saved for eternity, to be connected with our Heavenly Father because of, of what the baby has done. And so uh, the gospel, the good news, and we're going to be talking about that all month here at the Community Church. Uh, and we start this weekend. This weekend is our Christmas musical. It is called Sing Noel. I went over the program today. It's just going to be so phenomenal. It's going to be, it will touch all of your emotions. Uh, it will be Saturday night and Sunday night right here at our church. The, the tickets are all gone. Uh, we're full, and uh, we are excited about that. We, we have made some preparation for overflow because we don't want to turn anybody away. But the tickets are gone, and uh, it's going to be a great Sunday morning. Uh, listen, Sunday morning, if you can watch or, or be here, Sunday morning is our, kid, our children's part of Christmas, and they're going to celebrate. We're gonna, they're going to sing our little guys and our older ones, and they're going to talk about... Uh, you remember when on Charlie Brown, I know you know Charlie Brown Christmas, and, and Charlie Brown is frustrated. He's bothered because he's trying to, to do a Christmas play, and all the kids want to do is play. They just want to talk and laugh and play and dance. and they just, they're, they're, they're oblivious, and Charlie Brown is so frustrated, and he's so aggravated. He said, what's wrong with y'all? Y'all can't, y'all missing it. We're trying to do a play here about Jesus. And, and uh, little Linus, our buddy Linus, walks out with his blanket. And he walks out on the, on the stage. And Charlie Brown said, don't anybody know what Christmas is all about? Linus said, uh, Charlie, I got you. He walks out in the spotlight, and it's quiet. And he reads Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. He quotes that. Not many Christmas specials quote the, the Bible story about the, the birth of Jesus Christ. Pretty special. And then he gets through quoting that passage and he says, that's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. That's what we're going to talk about this Sunday at church. We're going to kind of see Chris, Christmas from the children's perspective. And so uh, it's going to be fun. 17th is uh, our... Our worship team will present the whole worship service. And then the 24th is Christmas Eve. We will have a one Christmas service, 10 o'clock, Sunday, December 24. Hope you can join us. All right, one verse today, a verse that you probably already know. 
And that verse is Acts chapter 20, verse 35. Listen to this verse. And I have showed you, this is Paul, presumably Paul, and he says, I've showed you all things. What does he mean by that? And what he means is, I have lived out, I have given you an example of how to live the Christian life. Paul said, I have lived this out for you. In all things, I have given you this example, Paul says. I have showed you all things. How that so laboring, working, you ought to support the weak. He said, I have modeled for you. And, and there's another passage uh, in Luke chapter 14, and it talks about how the real way to be like Jesus is don't just cater to the wealthy or the popular or the ones that are my friends, but the weak. The those who cannot do for themselves. That's really how we do it. So he said, remember the words of the Lord, and he said this. It is, it, it, this is red letters, Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. There is the message of Christmas. We do a Christmas store here, and children can come and get presents for their moms and dads and grandparents for free. There's no money involved. But they can shop and buy a present, and, and with no buying, they get a present. Because we want children to understand, you know what, it's better to give than to receive. Because boy, our culture says, take, 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 take. Get, i got to build more closets for all my clothes and bigger barns. Jesus said the way to do it is to give. Take care of others, put others first. You know, I, I close with, with this example, I think. If you get something for Christmas and there's a tag and a receipt, and if it don't fit, you can exchange it. You can take it back, right? Um, and so sometimes you get a present, you already have it, you don't like it, I don't want this, I'm going to take it back and exchange it. This verse says it is more blessed to give and so I want you to exchange your gift this, this Christmas. What if we exchanged receiving for giving? Because it really is better to give than to receive. I want you to watch and listen and maybe come visit us sometime this, this month. Because we're going to be celebrating Christmas a lot. Uh, I'm glad you let me visit with you today. I'm praying for you. I want you to know we love you, and I want to tell you three weeks early, Merry Christmas. Thank you.